everybody, it's Matthew, and I'm just going to do a little update on the progression of the seeds that we planted just a few days ago, and already they're actually starting to germinate, so that's pretty cool to see. Um, the main reason for this video, though, is I wanted to show you guys how you can get some free hydroponics supplies, such as this beautiful... I believe this is uh, this is an eight inch piece of PVC. Now this is a small one. I've got some bigger ones that uh, I was able to pick up too. So I'll be trying to use those in the hydroponic system as well. And I'll just show you a little clip of me and my girlfriend going out and collecting some beautiful beauties like this for free. So where do you get yourself something like this? Well, you might want to try uh, an old construction site. Uh, maybe you know a friend or someone who's building a house that you could get it from. You could try phoning manufacturers directly to see if they have any scraps or something lying around. In my case, I was went to an old construction site and they had a discard pile. And I just kind of went through the discard pile and found some PVC tubing that wasn't going to be used, that was going to get thrown out, and that's what I took. A lot of times contractors will just get the pipe that they need to do the job. Anything extra that they end up with, they might throw out. Any scraps they don't really keep because the next job they're going to go to, they're just going to get all new pipe again. So that's where I get stuff like this. We're going to get free hydroponic supplies. <laughs> some big six inch pipe? I do. <laughs> and that is how you score a whole bunch of freebies. Now normally things like this will cost you Probably for a six inch, maybe 10 foot of six inch, I think you can pay upwards of $80 for that. So I'm thinking I got around $150, $200 worth of PVC for free. Uh, the other thing was I was gonna get a heat mat for the seeds just to help them keep, the, keep them warm and encourage growth. But instead of that, I, I had this in the garage. It's a plumber's tape used for keeping your uh, your, your pipes from freezing. I was thinking I could just lay this underneath of the trays and that would work just as good. And this stuff is plugged in right now and it's already quite warm. The other thing was I wanted to automate the watering process of uh, the trays here. And I have the pump and batteries hooked up to a solar system the same solar system I was using last year I'm going to use for indoors this year and then the bigger system I'll be using for outside and that's hooked up to the window and from the window it goes to the batteries from the battery it goes to my 12 volt pump and that 12 volt pump turns on and waters the trays the only problem is I need a timer that will do seconds having a timer that will do uh, seconds instead of minutes means the trays will get just enough water. If they're on for a minute, they're going to flood. So a solution to that would be instead of having it on for just that second, have it on for the minute. But then flood, say, a tray like this where the water will be able to fill up and then maybe drain out through the bottom. And it'd be similar to the hydroponic ebb and flow, flood and drain system. So I might be trying that later in the future. I've still got a bunch of supplies in the mail, including uh, some new sprinkler heads and things like that. So I'm still waiting for that before I start anything. So that's all I really have for this video. Um, hope to make another one in a couple weeks, week or two. And until then, uh, happy hydroponicking.